Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a very useful tool which is the function zip that is used to combine lists together so zip will create tuples using two lists in this case A and B okay, which we have here they contain four numbers each 1, 2, 3, 4 for A and 5, 6, 7, 8 for B when we say zip a, B, and we, in this case, I made it into a list. What we are doing is combining 1 and 5 into a tuple. Remember, normal roundy brackets. Then the second element of the list is going to be another tuple that has 2 and 6. The next one, 3 and 7. The next one, 4 and 8. So if we run this. Oh, sorry, I'm running a different one. Uh, if we run example 3 we get a list, you see the square brackets on the outside so it's a list of tuples that are made out of element 1 with element 1 from A and B 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4 and 4 first element comes from A, second element comes from B um, we do this by just using zip okay and I made it into a list so I can then use it afterwards for other calculations Okay, so now we're going to see how to unzip elements. Okay, so now in this case I have a list of lists. Okay, and let's say these are x and y coordinates for one point, x and y coordinates, x and y coordinates. And what I want to do is create a list with all the x coordinates and another list with all the y coordinates. So instead of having to do it manually or create some for loops that will go through the elements and extract the first element of this sub list and so on, what we can do is unzip because we have pairs of elements. We can use zip with the asterisk, the star symbol inside the bracket, then the name of the element that contains the tuples. And because in this case it's going to give us x coordinates y coordinates we have to give the result two names one for the first value of each of the tuples or lists in this case and one things will have the values three four three okay then what i've done with names is i've created i've made it into a list just using the command list so it comes in square brackets as a list that I can add elements, delete elements, and so on. And then I'm printing both names and things, the second list of coordinates. So you see the difference between names and things. Names is going to be a list because I've used this line here. And remember, we can manipulate and change the values of a list. Things is going to be a tuple of elements, which means it contains several elements that cannot be changed. You can't append a new value, you can't delete a value. It's what it is and we can change it. Let's run it. And we see here, this is names, square brackets, two, four, three. We could manipulate it, change it, add values, delete values. Things takes the values three, four, three, the second coordinates. And it's in normal rounded brackets and we can't change those values. Okay, so depending on the application and what you want to do with those values afterwards, you will have to convert it into a list or not. 